All right, so what I have here is a, a wiring harness setup for a Honda Fit 2015. I'm basically, you know, the, the the Fit stereo, you know, doesn't give out enough power, and the the speaker sucks. So I replaced the speakers with aftermarket speakers, but you know, the the stock uh, stereo doesn't give out enough uh, wattage. So basically, I bought this Alpine. Uh, 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 little unit right here, so, you know, you can see how small it is. It's uh, pretty small. I'm gonna put that underneath the dash, but I don't want to basically, you know, I don't want to uh, cut into my my uh, wiring harness or cut any wires on my uh, on my car. So basically, I have to buy uh, I have to buy this uh, male plug here, which plugs into the head unit. Then I actually bought two of these female. Uh, plugs. This plugs into the um, the uh, wiring harness. So basically, the wiring harness comes in here. You know, the, so so it powers the power wires and all the uh, controls from the steering wheel and all that stuff goes to the head unit. Uh, right. So that's where the connection is between those two. Then from there, the head unit, the speaker's output comes out right here speaker output uh, then I got these uh, these RCA to uh, to line level uh, con converters so going from high uh, line level to RCA then it plugs into the, uh, the the Alpine unit here the cool thing about this Alpine unit is that it um, it could use both line level input or RCA uh, low level input and there's a little switch on the bottom here. And a switch on the bottom here uh, that you could uh, suggest that with. And coming out from the, the the amp, the Alpine amp, this is the speaker, the speaker output. So the speaker output goes back to the wiring harness, which goes out to the speakers, right? And here, uh, oops, these two, you have the uh, the ground wire for the. Uh, uh, for the uh, amp and the uh, power wire for the amp, and I'm I'm basically gonna connect the power wire, and you know this is gonna the power wire is gonna go a little, little bit longer, and I'm gonna connect it to this this little uh, inline fuse thing right here, so that the amp itself has a little uh, micro fuse. It's a 15 15, uh, 15 uh, amp fuse, so I'm gonna put in a uh, 20 amp fuse on this side, which connects to the power once I you know connect to uh, to here. Uh, that's basically the setup there. Uh, so this this will power my uh, my system. So one thing that I did do that's different. Uh, what I have to do, uh, what I have to modify a little bit, is this male plug here that plugs into the head unit. It has wires for every single uh, uh, plug that that's available. So basically, it's completely filled with wires on the on the male side, but the female side. Actually, it, it it doesn't have a, a full you know it doesn't have full wires. Basically, only half only half the wires were there, so I had to buy two of these. So here's my other one. So I bought two of them, and I basically I took out the wires and 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 uh, from 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 this and plugged it in here. And what's important, you know, before I did that, I matched up all the all the uh, the, the 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 colors basically because both of the colors here match up. Uh, to the to each other and to the to the stock uh, stock wiring harness. So the extra wires that I put in, uh, the the wires that I put in, basically made it up to the the uh, wires that that were extra that were that were here dangling out. And from there, uh, obviously the the color is not going to match. So what you have to do is uh, you basically have to make sure that the wire the wire where the plug is corresponds to the wire where this plug is. So you know the plug basically ma mates with each other. For example, uh, we look at this uh, outside corner here. So this is the top, that's the bottom here. Same with this, this is the, that's the top. And this is the bottom, all right? So let's look at this uh, black wire here. This is uh, uh, the ground the ground wire, basically, for the deck. And obviously, uh, this you know this wire com comes there already and is ready here, but, but you look at, at its position, you know, this, this is the very top corner, uh, top corner, and this over here is the very top corner, so basically it, it, it corresponds with each other. 
these two corresponds with each other. So the extra wires that you have here basically just have to make them so that they correspond to the same location between the, the, the male and the female side that you're good. You don't have to worry about anything else. Um, now I know that I know the stock deck doesn't have every single wire filled in. So there's, there's some wires that are there's some space or spots uh, that are that have no wires. So you have to, because uh, I, well, I don't know which, you know, what, which, which spots those are because I haven't taken the, the stock deck apart yet. So what I'm going to do is uh, once I take the stock deck apart and I figure out which w spots are, are empty on the stock deck, I'm going to uh, take the wires out from, from here because basically, you know, the more wires here there are, the, the more clutter and the, the more stuff basically. So I'm going to take those out and I'm, I don't know how many those are. And what I use to, uh, to, uh, to, Take the wires out from here, and and uh, and later on when I count out which which wire that that's not needed, that I'm gonna remove is uh, these tools here. These tools here are basically, and I can't, can't what brand they, they are, uh, but I, I, anyways, I got these on Amazon, and these are actually meant, and these are actually designed so that you could, because they're real small here, that you could actually poke into into here actually from this from the from the uh, from the plug side. You actually poke into it. And uh, disconnect these these the pins in here, so so you can pull them out. And you know you, you know if you try to use a screwdriver or, or a little dental pick or something, they won't they won't fit in there because they're they're actually too big in in diameter. But well, these things are here. They're really small, real narrow, real thin. So they actually all fit in there. And, and it's just a matter of finding where the uh, where the clip is, and you're just pushing the clip down so that it it unclips and and it pulls right out. Uh, so most of the smaller ones are, are easy because it's only there's only one clip. That, that you need to push down, whereas the uh, the four big ones on the on the uh, the four corners, instead of one one clip that 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 you need to push down, so you actually two clips on the side. So you if you push this in where the where the where the two clips are positioned, it will actually push out both clips at the same time. Then you can pull out the, uh, the the thicker one. So that's a little bit trickier to find, but uh, but it's in there. You can actually feel that you can poke around. And you can feel where 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 it, it what is the this uh, tool kind of kind of a stop or snags, that's where the pin is, uh, or the clip is to uh, to uh, to unpin these uh, these uh, these parts. So uh, so here you see that's my this is my setup. Uh, so obviously you know I haven't taken the, the the dash or anything apart on the car yet, but you know I did all this stuff uh, first uh, just to make sure everything's uh, together right. Uh, Funny, I broke this little clip here. This is a, I thought I thought this was a fuse or something. I was like, what the heck is this? You know, so I was trying to take it apart and I couldn't take it out. And I just forced it and it broke off. So I looked in it. It's basically it's actually a little transformer inside. This little this little winding in here. So I'm not exactly sure why they have this. Uh, you know what's there for. But anyways, I need a. I'm gonna probably tape this back or glue it back. Um, so all my all my uh, wire connections here. They're all basically, you know, the, the end was stripped, the, the end stripped out, uh, then I soldered it, then obviously I, I also put heat shrink, uh, uh, the heat shrink tubing on there, so uh, I prefer that, you know, it's a lot, it's a lot smaller, uh, it's not as bulky as using butt connectors and such, uh, and I think this is also a lot more solid, uh, 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 the, the flow of, of current through this is, I th personally I think it's better than, uh, than uh, uh, butt connectors, and you know, and you can see how, how many how many there are in here, and I can bundle them up, and they basically don't, they don't take much more space than than the wires themselves. Now if these were all butt connectors uh, put together. They were the, this bundle over here would be at least twice as big <coughs> in the spot. You know, it's twice as uh, big around. So so that's I think that's a lot better, a lot cleaner. Um, won't have any problems with uh, with with the uh, corrosion coming in here over time or whatever. You know. So this is basically this unit is going to go uh, in the dashboard, uh, right above the uh, right above the glove box. You know, there's tons of space in here. You could put, you could probably put uh, for sure two of these, if not even three of these. So that's how much space there is in, in a, uh, above the glove box uh, in the da under, under the dash. Uh, so so potentially, you know, I could put a, a, a bigger amp, and and because uh, this is only a four-channel amp uh, for the for the front and rear speakers, but I potentially you could put a, a, a bigger amp in, and that has a subwoofer or, or a separate smaller, you know, micro amp like this, that's a, a, a mono, mono amp and to power a subwoofer, that would work too. Uh, so anyways, so that's my setup. 
Oh, one other thing is that I'm not actually, once I connect this here, I'm actually not going to connect this to the, uh, directly to the battery. Well, not, not exactly. I'm, I'm going to run this uh, to where the fuse, the fuse are, where your, uh, you know, your, where your clutch or your, your, your left foot pedal is, you know, because I, I have a manager of so my clutch is right there. So right, right next to the clutch pedal, right on the side, there's actually a couple of fuse boxes. Uh, so I'm going to basically plug this into that and I'll show you guys that in another uh, in another video But this is my setup, you know, it sh it'll be it'll come out pretty clean and, and uh, You know, it should work really well All right. Thank you